last week on Gimme a Break, Nell's ex-husband, Tony, talked her into singing with a band on a cruise ship. Nell, you're blowing the whole thing out of proportion. The man needs a singer, that's all. He probably won't even try to hit on you. Tony's different now. And why are you trying to stand between me and the man that I love? Are you telling me that you have fallen in love with Tony again? Yeah. I'm gonna do exactly what you said. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go find Tony Talmadge, and I'm gonna tell that man exactly how I feel. No, I'm sorry, I haven't spent more time with you. I mean, we are on our honeymoon. Oh my, oh my gosh! Well, what I have to talk about concerns the both of us. What I have to talk to you about concerns the both of us too. But see, yours can wait. You see. Yours can't be as important as mine. You see? Give me a break. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with fate. Not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. See, yours can't be as important as mine. You see? I'll make that announcement right now. Excuse me. Ahoy, mates. This is Paul Riley, the ship's social director. Uh, the tournament bridge competition has been canceled due to the ugly bench-clearing brawl that occurred during the shuffleboard round <laughs> robin. <laughs> In its place, we have the less competitive limbo contest. I'll see you all at 4 o'clock. Well, no. Wow. <laughs> it got crowded in here, didn't it? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, why don't you sit down there? Just listen to this. Understand. Thought I've always known you from the moment that we met. Looking at an angel that I never will forget. I thought I was in heaven. It was simple yet confused. Still don't know the reason why I fell in love with you.
That's what you are. You're an angel. Yeah. You're an angel. Yeah, that's what you are. get lost. <laughs> Nell. Yeah? That was beautiful. Thank you. Now, what'd you want to say to me? <laughs> Tony, it's a good thing you stayed cute. Because you still are dense. <laughs> Never mind, darling. Come on, sit down. Just sit down. Well, okay. What I was trying to, well, what, what, I, what, I, what I wanted to, well, it, you know, when we first got <laughs> together, I mean, we were just kids. But now we're both grown up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have changed a lot. <laughs> well, you haven't. You were terrific then, and you're still terrific. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> it's, well, now that we're both grown up and we're both mature and we're both terrific. Uh, uh, Nell, yeah. what are you trying to say? Well, Tony, you see, when we first got married, I was just a kid. Hi. Hi. I was no older than this child here. Uh, Hi, Aunt Nell. Hi, Tammy, you little dick, and sit down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two know each other. Oh, yeah. Tammy's been Joey's playmate since we've been on board. <laughs> she is such a lovely little girl. <laughs> uh, that's why I married her. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you, Nell. Um, Tammy and I were married. This is our honeymoon cruise. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be helping the social director with the limbo contest. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Nell. <laughs> Call me Miss Hopper. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't tell you I'd married another young girl because, well, I know how emotional you get. <laughs> and because I was afraid you wouldn't do the gig. Gig? You call this a gig? Nell, what's the matter with your voice? I never have felt better in my life. Doctor, I've got to sing tonight. I have to make a balloon payment on my mortgage. P.S. If I don't sing, I'm suing you for malpractice. <laughs> Why should you be different? You take two of these. They're relaxants. Now, don't use your voice and stay off your feet. Why should she stay off her feet? Oh, we found that people tend to get into more conversations standing up. <laughs> Makes sense. Then she'll be all right? Oh, yes. It's not uncommon for the muscles surrounding the larynx to go into spasm. Usually brought on by anxiety or shock. Oh, it's shock. Boy, is she in shock. Found out her ex-husband married another 18-year-old bimbo. You are... <laughs> Damn. Same to you, fella. Miss <laughs> Parker, no excitement. You've got to relax. That's the whole key. You know, the last band singer we had got seasick and couldn't sing. Well, they cut off her salary and she had to pay for her cabin. What? <laughs> yeah, all, right, all right, I'm sorry. You feeling better, Aunt Mel? Uh, good. Then, then I'm going to go out on deck now and play with Tammy. Uh. <laughs> 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 Don't play around with married women. <laughs> Go out and play, Joey. <clears throat> Memorize that. Oh, there's my beeper. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'll have to come back there beeping me for another passenger. Now, you relax. That other passenger could be Tammy. She's probably pregnant. <laughs> I don't want you getting all excited, you know. Now, I know that you thought you'd be making beautiful music with your ex-husband when you found out he was no longer married to an 18-year-old girl. <laughs> then you end up losing your voice because you find out he's married again to another 18-year-old girl. <laughs> it's really tragic. <laughs> Yes, it's tragic. <laughs> Eddie. Eddie. Mel, did you say something? Eddie. I lost the use of my voice. What? You lost what? I lost the use of my voice. Oh, I know. You lost the use of your voice. But I still have the use of my hands. You still have the use of what? My hands. You still have the use of your hands. Yeah. It's over. I know. It's over for the both of us. Oh, you can talk now. Yeah. I'm saving my voice for tonight. Aunt Mel, I don't understand Tammy. She never told me she was married. She never told me either. <laughs> She was the first girl I ever loved. <laughs> Come here. Come on, sit down. Oh. I want you to listen to your aunt now, okay? You're never too young to learn about love. Because that's what life is all about. Love. Love is everywhere. Love makes the world go around. And you are so lucky that at your age you're learning such an important lesson. Love stinks. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Mel. You always make me feel a lot better. Yeah, I feel a lot better myself now. Come in. Come on in, doctor. Thank you. Addie, it's over with me and Tommy. <laughs> oh, Joey, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing. This is my last cruise. <laughs> and how are we feeling, Miss Harper? You're feeling just fine. Thank you, good, doctor. Good. Can we open up and just take a little look, huh? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Ah, well, that's not a bad little throat. Will she be able to sing? Oh, yes, in an hour she'll be just fine, if. And I must strongly underline that little word, if. If we behave ourselves. Any tension, any emotional shock, and your throat can close up again just like that. This time could even be worse. Now you listen to the doctor, okay, now. Okay, Eddie, I'm listening. You see, generally in these cases where complete relaxation is necessary, we recommend an ocean cruise. <laughs> oh, oh, I know we're on an ocean cruise. I mean, I'm not that silly. <laughs> well, actually, you see, well, what I mean is, you get out on that deck, in that ocean air, with those gentle trade winds, I tell you, it is the greatest therapy in the world. In fact, I think I'm going up on deck and take in a little of that air myself. I've got to relax. All right, now, I want you to get your scarf. I want you to go up on deck. I want you to relax, and I don't want you talking to anybody. All right, Eddie. Knowing your big mouth and two words, you'll be in an argument. 
<laughs> Annie, you know what? You're so much fun on the cruise. It's too bad you weren't on the Titanic. <laughs> seen him for hours. I hope his show is around in a few minutes. Well, you better tell him Nell can't sing. <laughs> I mean, no. She's got laryngitis. I got laryngitis. Oh, Tony, I got some bad news for you. Get in line. Take a number. It's the worst day of my life. Well, it's your fault. You know, if you hadn't married another 18-year-old girl, this woman could sing. Hey, I went to my cabin and found that 18-year-old girl with the social director. They were socializing. <laughs> I don't see how she could dump me for that kid. Hit it, guys. Oh, I'm keeping out of mischief now. Really give me love. And I can't
I managed to get the $1,500 for the balloon payment. But I also managed to stick a pin in Mr. Tony's balloon, too. Way to go now. Oh, you should have seen him. Honey, he had no shame, no pride. He got down on his knees and crawled. <laughs> you know, some men can take no for an answer, but not Tony Talmadge, honey. He sent me so many flowers that my stateroom looked like a float in the Rose Parade. <laughs> Thank you, darling. It was an ugly sight, I tell you. It was really, really an ugly sight. <laughs> it was so ugly, but it didn't really surprise me at all. Well, it sounds like you really got even with him now. Ah, oh, you bet I did, honey. Revenge is sweet. Oh, you bet it is, honey. But then I had to let him down easy because his wife ran away with the social director. <laughs> got married again? Well, if you want to call it a marriage, I mean, he spent the whole voyage lusting after me. <sighs> I can't hardly blame her for leaving him. Hey, Aunt Nell, did you tell him about the laryngitis? Yes, darling, I was just about to do that. Now go back in the kitchen and play with the vegetables. <laughs> Who got laryngitis? Tony. <laughs> Then he couldn't play his trumpet, so I had to go on all by myself and sing 12 songs and do three encores. I tell you, they love me at sea. <laughs> I'll get that. But I tell you one thing, honey, I am so tired of bailing that man out, I could just scream. <laughs> I can't believe it. We hit land and you got prettier. <laughs> no shame. No pride. Can you believe it? He thinks just because he is available that I'm gonna come running. Can you believe that? Now, don't wait up for me, because I probably won't be home the very next time.